Well, it's interesting. This fellow, um, another casting director uh, at, at Warner Brothers called me. I was on location doing a film's uh, battle fatigue film for the Navy medical unit. And he said, when you finish that, come up, I've got a part for you. And he said, it's only a day's work. And I had reached that exalted, exalted status of featured player where you got paid for a week, even if they only used you for a day, but it was a different status. And you didn't like to go backwards. Uh, but he said, this would be good, and I, so I, I believed him. And uh, so I went in, and <clears throat> the picture was reviewed by Walt Disney because Jim Arness was already starring in motion pictures, and he was the star of this film. And the, uh, the giant ants were life-size. They weren't uh, digital like they can do today or the simulation business. And so Disney got interested in the film. But the film was so well received as a, an early science fiction picture that it was, broke all records in Great Britain. New York Times reviewed it, and I got a little review in the New York Times for a little comedic bit. And Disney uh, happened to see that part of the film and he said who's that and no one knew so there was uh, there's only one person living peter ellenshaw who lives over in hope ranch in santa barbara he was the two-time academy award mate artist but he was in the screening room he's the only one left now uh and one of the gentlemen said i know the producer i'll call warner brothers and they got my name and sent me over to the casting guy and then up to the producer and writer, and then ultimately to meet Walt. And uh, I, uh, you know, I got that was my lucky break because he just he just saw maybe a minute or two minutes of film.